Скажу, конечно, как я дошла до жизни до такой, но мы сейчас тихонечко выйдем и тихонечко начнем настраиваться, а потом я немножечко поговорю, хорошо? Жень, ты сразу, так сказать, у наших друзей в Питере, где выступала группа Полиман позавчера, возник вопрос, что это за унитаз и ручка, за которую надо дергать постоянно при выступлении на сцене. Я имею в виду странный музыкальный инструмент, на котором кто-то играл. А, о всех инструментах играл. я сейчас тоже расскажу. У нас будет два странных музыкальных инструмента. И ну, очень давай, давай. люди, которые будут на них играть. Специальный стэшл. Особенно. So, uh, shall I first invite on stage all my guests? So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the quorum and welcome them quietly because we're first going to achieve the instruments, please. So, Colin, you're... Переводи, тихонько хлопаем. Это место Колин Хантинс, с которым, в принципе, все и ничего не могу сказать. Следующий участник группы. Мистер Рок Дэрис. Here we go. Мистер Мэн Гарри. Here we go. Жень, далеко не убегаем. Вот меня как обыватель интересует вопрос, а вот известная фотка на грузовике, вот как бы кто там играл из тех, кто сейчас на сцене находится? А, все, кто сейчас находится на сцене, кроме меня и тебя, там играли. Слава Богу. Окей, спасибо. Сейчас мы быстренько инструменты включим, а я пока расскажу про сегодняшний концерт людям, которые сейчас на сцене по-английски, потому что я это сделала не сделала. Сначала у меня принципиальнейший вопрос. Наши гости из Ливерпуля, безусловно, знают много баек и могут много интересного сказать. Нам перевод нужен или мы будем общаться по-английски? По-английски? Кто за это? Кто за то, чтобы байки звучали без перевода? Так, ну отлично, согласен. Но в паре мест я все-таки хотел бы попросить Женю перевести, потому что там как бы идиоматические обороты э, скаус э, диалекта английского языка, которые без перевода понять достаточно сложно. Сейчас я хотел бы, чтобы у нас была минутка тишины, нам нужно дать группе Кориман возможность настроиться и услышать свои инструменты. Прошу пять минут провести тихо, а затем наш концерт продолжится. Спасибо.
Chili beans, I'll need chili beans. Can you hear me, Colin? Can you hear me in the monitor? Yeah? Oh, you poor thing. Добавьте, пожалуйста, вокалов гитаристов в барабанщиков, мониторов. It's in the key of D, Jane. <laughs> Okay. I am. I'm falling asleep here. Hurry up, get on with it. Dobry wieczór, Moskwa. Okay. What did you say about me? A little bit of song. I was paid a hundred pound in the court of Liverpool at three pounds a week that was my pain. With a pocket full of ten, I was very soon taken in by a I got horses, I got hogs, I got a whole lot of stuff. 
the way it was a long time ago, no guitar solos, really primitive, but we did have the TGS bass player, and Len was the TGS bass player all those years ago. Len played with John, and oh, I hated it. And I played the guitar. I only played with John. I was replaced by some guy called Paul not something, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever happened to him, I don't know. Uh, and on the drums here, Colin played with John Paul and George. Please welcome Colin Hampton. Oh, so, to give us a more authentic look, an authentic feel, we have a quarryman teacher's bass, and we have Jane who's going to play the teacher's bass for us, Jane. And she also interprets for us. And to give us a little oomph in the bass department, we have Dan that's going to play bass. Oh, we certainly need the oomph. There is a problem, is there? What's the problem, Rodney? You can only hear me. Расскажу, что музыку, которую сейчас играет группа Квориман, это та музыка, которая в принципе вдохновила группу Битлз, и они стараются играть ее именно так, как они играли в конце 50-х годов. And he's got the right bass for that Paul guy I was talking about. You know? Well, we soon developed the rock and roll because Elvis came on the scene. And everyone wanted to be like Elvis, apart from Rodney. Well, I was a banjo player. You can't be like Elvis if you're a banjo player. John wanted to be like Elvis. This is that song right now. Isn't it, Rodney? One, two, one, two. Well, that's
I've always enrolled these bad books. Don't forget it was Ed Boy one time. This is a tribute to my old buddy, J.W.L. That is. A song, isn't it? Round the mic once more. Okay, go on. For us, this is, you may have heard somebody play it earlier, if you don't know, but for us, this is a very special song. This is our version. Now, join in by all means. Go on.
We told him if he drops a thimble, he has to kiss the drummer, so he's been very careful not to drop a thimble. And Переведу эту шутку, пока там настраиваются. Если э, человек, который играет на стиральной доске, уронит на персточке, он должен поцеловать барабанщика. Поэтому на персточке обычно очень крепко на пальцах сидят. Если на... и девушка, конечно, играет на стиральной доске. Shirt on, and we were playing this song when Paul McCartney arrived on his bicycle. <laughs> yeah, he was a millionaire even in those days, yes? <laughs> and uh, we were playing this song, and Paul thought John was making the words up as he went along. The problem was, we always sang it this way because we couldn't afford to buy the record. So this is the problem, okay? See if you can find the line, which is John's line in the song. Oh, a competition. <laughs>
this afternoon to AJ's show, might have heard the yeah. quarry men talking, on. and uh, so we said to the man, would you like to come and play the washboard, AJ? So he said, yes, so where is AJ? Right play the washboard, now come on then, now. come, hey, where is he? Would you like this guy to get a stage, please? Come stage, please, now. Come on, you Yankee Doodle, come on. He's an adopted Russian guy now. Oh, great interview, by the way. There he is! He's a New Yorker, really.
Tomorrow, all the music shops in Moscow will have no washboards left. <laughs> We have here Mr. Colin Hanton, who played on the famous recording of In Spite of All the Danger, and that will be the day. And Colin's going to tell us a bit about that recording. Colin. Oh, Colin. Am I up? The mic on? We just sit on that thing and listen to the music. We did so I could talk normally. That would be my stuff of nose. Go through, Carl. Just ignore Rodney. Go on. In 1958, you find that the police. Shh. Shh. Does he call? Please, please. 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 And Paul invited a friend of his, John Duffalo, to come along to play on the top piano. And we did Buddy Holly's That Would Be The Day on one side. And on the other side, it was a, a song that Paul had written called In Spite of All the Danger. Um, and that record survived and it went on to the anthology. And I got uh, my seventh sit back. So we're going to do In Spite of All the Danger for you now. Thank you. Right, thank you. So that's the of the Oh, no, no. Just feel free to join in. We might do it a little bit faster than the original. Okay? Okay. Please sing da 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 da. Okay. They know it, not me. Get the tempo. Песни, которые сейчас 
try and remember the F sharp properly. And I don't. Tough. What's the play? Australian or Russian style? <laughs> right. Right. This is a song by the second greatest skittler in England, a guy called Jasmine Devitt, and it's called Freight Train. And it's got whistling in, okay? So I don't want anybody on the front row eating lemons, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for coming to listen to a whole load of very old guys. <laughs> Cut out the very. All right. I'm a very old guy. You're not quite so very old. I'm the baby. I'm not. That's not. Let's play. That's not a bitch. We'd like to thank Alexei for bringing us here. For our washboard players. Our teacher's bass player Jane for helping to organise all this. We just say yes, miss, whatever you say, miss. And thanks to the sound guys for doing a good job. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 I don't know how to say blue suede shoes in Russian, so... Well, it's a for the morning, a for the show. Well, rain now.
I really thought I'd finish then. I thought you were for you tucking me up, you know. inspired John and Paul and George's song, as I said before, but this is one which is, I think, probably technically a quarryman number. So we're going to say Dobrynyoci Mrva and see you next time. Does we then? Yeah. Baby, it's on one after 